We're at Anstey's today. I'm with Beck, and we're looking at a scooter. What model do we have in front of us? This is the Merritt's Bendy. So Merritt's is a range that we've taken on. So there's a lot of different scooters in the range that we have access to, but today it's the Bendy. Right. Um, with scooters, often our occupational therapists will be supporting people to go through, is this a safe choice for them? We liaise often with their general practitioner, their doctor, to see if there's any medical precautions or contraindications, conditions that they may be living with, which mean operating you know, a small vehicle um, could be a problem. Uh, we then move on to an occupational therapy assessment, a scooter assessment, seeing if somebody is safe to operate, almost like a mini driving assessment in a way. Can you use mirrors? Can you do you have any mobility restrictions um, in terms of being able to check blind spots, being able to reverse, being able to navigate obstacles, so that you're safer out in the community for yourself, but also for those around you in the community. We also look and like to know in the home environment where will this be stored? Will it be stored under cover in a garage, for example? Um, do, is there close access to power uh, where it will be parked at home so we can charge? Um, and a range of other things as well. Some people are really confident with just jumping on and um, going straight away. They might have driven a golf cart in the past. They might have, um, it, it may be heavy machinery that they've operated in a past life, etc. For some people, they might not have ever operated um, a small vehicle. Um, a car and this may be the first time that they're using some sort of powered um, scooter a device. The reason I say that is we know that those things happen and as equipment suppliers, as clinicians, we take the time to support people to feel comfortable operating something that may be very new. That can be some training as well to make sure that you feel safe to use these things. Some things that we consider really important as well beyond a, a range of different features but just a short video today is safe weight limit so they all have all different models have different ranges of what is the safe weight of someone's body weight to be sitting on the vehicle but also additional things that they may be carrying so the total safe weight of this is 135 kilos. Lovely. And then we also think about the distance that it can travel. So if someone's leaving home, um, going down their street, out into the community, maybe to a cafe, maybe to the shops, maybe to a medical appointment and coming back, what's that safe distance that they can operate and that is? In this case, 32 kilometres. Yep, so quite a long distance. That most people really wouldn't test that whole boundary. Most people will be living within usually a couple of kilometres or five kilometres um, of um, some of those things that I've, some of those places that I've just mentioned. So um, we always look at adjustability of where um, the uh, handles will be. These have adjustments that you can make in most models as well as um, some minor adjustments in arms and backrest. What are some other features that you usually go over with a scooter? We'd normally go over like most of the places that they're going to use it as well because yeah. if they're going up hills and things like that, that 32 kilometres is reduced yep. significantly. Um, so we also like to look at that. We like to look at the speed, the blinkers, the lights, the adjustable mirrors. Um, and you know, when we deliver a scooter, it's not just here you go, here's your scooter, we've done a trial with a physician. Yeah. We will actually go through all those functions with the client as well um, and actually check that they can perform their head checks or that they're in the habit of performing their head yeah. checks like they would a car. So, understanding maintenance and warranty and those yep. sorts of things as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So, if you find yourself in six months, 18 months, 36 months going, oh my god, it's not working, it's not working well, wheels aren't turning well, batteries flat knowing that you can call the supplier, Anstey's in this case, and, and have that support come out and, and have a service or replacement parts. And understanding that warranty system is a really important part of the process as well to what can be large purchases um, to make sure that you feel comfortable with that as well. I thought it was a really good tip too of saying just understanding where someone's living and how they'll be using it, especially with incline impacting battery length. That's a really important um, piece of 
of how we approach these things, of taking the time to listen to what are people's goals that they wish to achieve with devices and mobility scooter in this instance, and then how is how is that going to be the appropriate choice for them in uh, in their life and in their environment and what they're looking to achieve? So yeah, really good point. Yeah. Anything else to finish on? Uh, no, I think no? that's it. Covered Very it all. Cool. Pretty comprehensive. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>